AutoCAD has several ways to open files and access them while you're working. In this section, we will look at file tabs. File tabs are found right here below the ribbon. We have the ribbon, and then we have our file tabs. There is a tab displayed for every file that you have opened. So I have four files open, construction lines, movie house, multi-lines, and polyline splines. Click the tab of the file you want to make current. That will activate that file. File tabs are very nice visual display that give you quick access to your open files. So as I click on any of these tabs, I will get access instantly to that file. The tabs will be displayed in the order that you open the files. So I opened up construction lines first, then movie house, etc. But if you want them in a different order, that's fine. Just click, hold it, and then drag it. You can see it will get moved around. If you have a bazillion files open and there isn't enough room to display all the tabs, an overflow menu on the right side of the screen will pop up. You'll be able to access your files that way. So if a file is opened as a read-only file, a lock icon will appear. And I do have one of those open. That is the polyline splines. As you can see, here on the left is a little lock. That means it's locked. So if I try to save this file, it won't let me because I've opened it read-only. Now if you see a little asterisk, like in this construction lines drawing, it's kind of hard to see. It's real small, but it's there. You can see that it's not here on these other two. That means that I have edited the file, but I haven't saved any of my changes yet. That's a nice visual cue that I found very useful. It lets you know, hey look, you need to save that file before you lose anything. So if I quick save, just by pressing Control and S on the keyboard, you'll see that asterisk goes away. So when you pass the cursor over a file tab, you get a little preview of all of the model space and paper space tabs. So with this construction line one, though I have it open right now, you'll see here's the model space tab and two layout tabs. There's nothing in either of these. But if I go to the movie house one, I'm not clicking on it, I'm just hovering over it. You'll see I have something here in model space and in this paper space tab called dimension. So when you do pass over them, you'll get a little thumbnail preview. It will also give you a display in the drawing area when you hover over the preview of each tab. You also get a chance to publish or print that tab. So you don't have to necessarily activate the file to print it out. You can just come here, click plot, and it will go to plot that file. Now if you right click on the file tab, I get the options to create a new file, to open an existing file, to save this file, to save as, to save all of the files, or to close this file, close all of them, close all of them except this one I have clicked on. One of my two favorite options on here is to copy the full file path or to open the file location. Now what that means is if I copy the full file path, I left clicking, that copies the pathway, the full pathway of this file so I know exactly where it is to my Windows clipboard. So now I can paste that into an email or into a report or I can even paste it as text right here into my AutoCAD file. Now you can see where it is. And that's just text. Now the open file location will open Windows Explorer into the exact folder on my computer of where the file is. So you'll be able to get right to it. Here's the CAD file. I can do whatever I want to with it. Now that's really handy. Believe me, working with AutoCAD all day every day I find that I need to do these two things often. So these two tools alone are very useful. If you look and see the little plus icon here at the end of all the file tabs, if you left click on it, that is starting the new command. It will open your folder where all of your templates are. Just go to any of these template files is fine. Click open, opens it up, and I have a new file. And since it's the latest one that I've opened, it puts it up here on the right side. And I get my previews. Now if you see the little X, that will close the file. In the ribbon, we're here on the Home tab, we get most of our commands, but if you go to the View tab on the ribbon, and you come to the User Interface panel, there's a button here called File Tabs. If I click this, it will toggle the file tabs off. So I'm going to turn that off to help save us some screen real estate. But you can always turn it back on just by coming to the View tab on the ribbon, the user interface panel, and file tabs. Click it, it will bring them all back. You can leave that on or off.